Does AI threaten the future of humanity? According to 61% of Americans, the answer is yes. A recent Reuters Ipsos poll found that more than two-thirds of Americans are concerned about the negative effects artificial intelligence could have on their jobs and everyday lives, a fear some are calling AI anxiety. The negative effects are def definitely outweigh the positives, I think. Terminator and all those movies have really given us a good fear of a artificial intelligence. If this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Uh, and we want to be vocal about that. This was Samuel Altman, CEO of OpenAI, creator of ChatGPT. The chatbot has become the fastest growing application of all time, catapulting AI to the forefront of public discourse. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening. ChatGPT has kicked off an AI arms race, with tech heavyweights like Microsoft and Google vying to outdo each other's AI accomplishments. Here, Sam Altman was testifying before the U.S. Congress, asking for regulation. It's, it's one of my areas of greatest concern, the, 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 the more general ability of these models to manipulate, to persuade, uh, to provide sort of one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, interactive disinformation. And it's not just Altman. Other top AI executives have joined experts and professors in highlighting the risk of extinction from AI putting it on par with risks posed by pandemics and nuclear war. Here's computer scientist Jeffrey Hinton, widely known as one of the godfathers of AI. And these things will be extremely skilled manipulators because they'll have learned from all the manipulations people ever did. So they'll be much better than a person at manipulating us. It'll be like you manipulating a two-year-old. In May, Hinton announced he had quit Google after a decade at the firm, saying he wanted to speak out on the risks of AI. Given that we're going to face an election next year and these models are getting better, uh, I think this is a significant area of concern. So who's got AI anxiety? According to the Reuters Ipsos poll, people who voted for Donald Trump in 2020 expressed higher levels of concern. 70% of Trump voters, compared to 60% who voted for Joe Biden, agreed that AI could threaten humankind. When it came to religious beliefs, evangelical Christians were more concerned than non-evangelical Christians. The online poll of more than 4,400 U.S. adults was conducted between May 9th and May 15th. Despite the AI concern, crime and the economy rank higher in the list of kitchen table issues. 77% support increasing police funding to fight crime, and even more are worried about the risk of a recession. Meanwhile, within the scientific community, some researchers view talk of an existential threat from AI as a distraction from more immediate concerns around regulation. Here's New York University professor Julia Stojanovic. We need all hands on deck here to, to be able to control these systems. And an important component in this uh, you know, distributed structure of accountability and control is regulation, of course, right? We need laws, we need regulation to put guardrails uh, around the use of these systems. We need to think very carefully before we deploy these systems about who is impacted by them and in what way. 